Thank you, Nutritional Brands, NB Pure, for sponsoring this video. I am an NB Pure athlete, and NB Pure has been fueling all of my fitness challenges that I have going on right now. And I am a massive fan of their products. Right now, my favorite product is the MB Pure Hydration Performance Plus. I love this because it's a two-in-one. It has electrolytes. It also has BCAs in it. It's got B12. All of your amazing goodness in it, and I love it. It's been saving me a lot this summer. One of the only hydration drinks that I can feel the effects really quickly after I have it. Also, my favorite right now is the Performance Protein Plus. I love chocolate, it's my jam. I'm drinking about two of those a day, and I can't say enough about their ingredients. Pure, clean, full of goodness. So check them out, guys. I got links in the bio. You can check out those products. You can explore some other products. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thank you, MB Pure, for sponsoring this video. Let's go get it. Good morning, good morning. We are a bit about to get after day five marathon prep. We're out in San Francisco right now. The sun is bright and shining, and I use Strava. This is the first time I've ever done this. I use Strava to find a route to run, and they have the coolest mapping system ever. And it looks like I found a pretty epic route near the bay. It's right by the water. We're about n about 20 minutes north of San Francisco, the city. It's beautiful over here. Today's run is a six mile easy pace. So easy is really slow. Gonna be hard to get used to because I gotta, I gotta actually run pretty slow. Um, but I'm really trying to follow this marathon prep training program so I can do it right. Which I cheated yesterday because we ran four mile run across the Golden Gate Bridge, but we just, I just had to. Sun, sun was going down, it was freaking epic. All right, so let's get after this run. Holy crap, this run is so freaking beautiful. Thank you, Strava. Halfway done with my easy six mile run, pacing pretty slow, trying to have that discipline to run slow is tough. It's probably the most beautiful run I've done. It's freaking epic, life-giving. Yes, just finished up my easy six mile pace today. It is really hard to train yourself to go a lot slower. I thought I was running slower back home, but I don't think I was running as slow as I needed to on these easy days. But this place is beautiful. So amazing, felt really good. I'm glad I'm staying on Mish. Good run. Good morning, fam. We are cozy here in San Francisco, getting after a new mural for a fitness athlete also known as Marcus Philly who at one time was a top CrossFit athlete now he's training people transforming people he's a beast to say the least and so I'm out here getting to do a mural with him something that is new though is on this trip I am in a marathon prep so one of the important things on this trip for me is making sure we have all the food that we need the nutrition that we need making sure that I stay on schedule with running and strength training and all of that good stuff. This morning, I got after a six mile run. My running plan called for a six mile 
easy pace. Easy would sound easy. Easy is harder than it sounds, but it was such an amazing run. And now we are back at the Airbnb, fueled up with MVPers Hydration Performance Plus to get those electrolytes in. Just made a pot of coffee. I'm gonna have two cans of sardines this morning and probably some eggs. And then I'm gonna meal prep my lunch. And then we're gonna head down and get to this mural. One of the things that Grace and I always do when we travel is when we land, one of the first things we do is find where the grocery store is that we want to get our food at. Usually it's a Costco because Grace and I eat a lot and it's important for us that we stay on our regiment when it comes to what we're eating because when we eat well, especially when we travel, we feel better. On this trip we landed, we hit up Costco, got all the food we need, which I'm so excited. They also had sardines, which has been my jam for the last couple weeks and I'm obsessed with it. Super high in protein. There's tons of good nutrients in here. There is 1800 milligrams of EPA and DHE and omega threes in here, which is wild. There's also vitamin D, so it should be a good breakfast. Throw a little sriracha on. I think they're so good. Meal prep complete. I've got tomato, avocado, a little sriracha, ground beef, garlic. I've got my base meal prep done for tomorrow. I'm actually really excited. I kind of want to eat this right now. Off to Marcus's gym. We are going to hopefully get most of the base colors done today. Hopefully there are no curveballs, but if there are, it's okay because it's an adventure and we are having a good time. I've been happy since we got off the plane, like so stoked. I don't know what it is. If it's a Cali, if it's the weather, it's San Francisco. I have no idea, but this trip so far has been amazing. So I'm really excited to go down to the gym today to meet Marcus, who I've actually been a huge fan of for years. Followed him in the CrossFit games and then actually did a lot of his workout plans for a while. And so the fact that I get to do a mural in his gym now is so cool. <laughs> gym is awesome. This is Marcus Philly's gym. Former professional athlete, CrossFit athlete. Amazing dude. Awesome human. I just got to meet him for the first time. He is the real deal. So nice and so cool. Um, and also super grateful that he had us come out here that I get to paint a mural in his gym. The gym set up here is wild. They have a little bit of everything. Um, and it's just cool to see how some of these professional athlete guys do their work and their craft. When we got here, they were filming content, so it was super cool to see that in action. The artwork in here is gonna really make this place pop because right now everything is kind of like this dark, dark, dark bluish black, uh, it looks like. So we're gonna have a bunch of orange and blues on the wall. It's gonna be bright. First things first though, I need to uh, sketch everything on the wall. We're trying to figure out how high we want the mural to go. We'll see if Marcus likes the height when we finish the sketch. And then if it's all Gucci, we're gonna get down on base colors today. So far, so good. See you! See you! <laughs> see you! <laughs> colors are done. I'm so happy with how it's looking right now. I thought it would be cool, but I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out so far. The colors look amazing. Grace and I were just chatting about how like when you do the base colors, it's such a grind because I've got a mask on, I've got goggles, I'm literally sweating 
and it reminds me a lot of like working out or endurance training there's the idea that you just get in this zone and you just go 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 you got to be calm focus um but i definitely as weird as it sounds i definitely think my 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 training with running and lifting helps this process because i'm literally able to just zone in and go for like four or five hours straight and knock it out and it looks good so now we're gonna hydrate with some some nb pure hydration performance plus always gotta stay hydrated especially because we might get a lift in tonight Favorite part of the project is finishing the base colors and seeing a happy client. I'm always nervous that we're gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna travel somewhere and they're like, I finish and they're like, yo, this sucks. This is horrible. <laughs> and then I have to like repaint it or stay for a whole nother week. So far that's never happened, but. I know, I was gonna say, that's never actually happened, right? No, but that would suck. That would extremely suck. Uh, so far, I'm undefeated. To the flag, to the United States of the Liberty. Of the Liberty. <laughs> and one justice for all. And one justice for all. Just got so much chill time the airbnb took a shower which is kind of weird because we're gonna go do some lifting but it feels so good to just relax in a hot shower get all the paint off you it's like the reward it's like a reward now we're gonna go get ripped <laughs> yeah feeling great energy levels today are skyrocket <laughs> <laughs> back at the gym we are gonna get a lift in I'm gonna do some shoulders some core maybe play around with some other things they got a giant 200 pound kettlebell here which someone has been lifting it because there's chalk on it globe trotter so shocker I keep it in the chrome locker don't rock up I counter it with no offer I don't wanna I'm too busy, so chocker. Call me Mr. Roadblocker. I make a whole number turn to an eight. Learn from mistakes, got the whole world on my plate. Nothing worse than my fate. Say your words get burnt on a state. Took a turn for the cake, so we turn and we say. Always had the power, open up from deep within There's something that empowers me to draw a line under my sins I never understood why there was such a way to live And now I'm stuck against a wall that keeps defining me as him I'm painting never ending canvases While I wrap them up in bandages And coexisting while ending what my anger is Paying for no damages I'm speaking universal languages Out here, always seem to see the light Never meant to be the vibe, but severed every reason why Freedom got me talking all this peace and life I wouldn't think twice to give a beat into an evil guy Cause I'm worked up and worked out I've served up and swerved out So I turn up, not turn round Dinner is served Oh, we're having steak, rice and some avocado It is glorious It's so good We waited till 10.30 to eat <laughs> So, it tastes even better Late night dinner Post-workout treats right here i feel like we kind of do this every time where we eat super late mm -hmm. we do we always eat way late way late we're just having too much fun it's all good we're on our own schedule we're mm -hmm. on our own dime this is our dime we're on we we are the main characters right now i am ready to chill to hang out and go to bed it has been an awesome day i'm really excited to finish up this mural it's really fun to get a workout in Marcus's gym. Super cool gym. Dinner tonight was amazing. The run was great. Tomorrow for marathon prep, I've got another six mile easy run, which is great. Grace and I were just joking about how hard the training is gonna get right now. I'm only on like day five or six and it starts ramping up really high. <clears throat> so it should be... It should be fun. I've never run over 14 miles, so it's gonna start. It's gonna start to get challenging, but I'm here for it. I will survive. If I don't, Grayson can have my YouTube channel. 
It's in the will. <laughs> but with that being said, guys, all is possible. We'll see you in the next video. Love you, fam.